Information is light, light is information. The more you become informed, the more you alter your frequency. You are electromagnetic creatures, and everything that you are, you broadcast to everyone else. Barbara Merchiniak, Bringers of the Dawn. Me, hi, Ivo, can you go into more detail about this, please? How can you explain it to enlighten those who think from a strictly physical perspective? Ivo, my love, this is a very significant statement as it explains the basis for life in the multiverse. What you call information we call light, light being an aspect of love which is the energy which we all operate from. Me, an aspect of or the same as? Ivo, an aspect of. Love is the energy and light is a part of that energy that can be split out from it. Your electrical appliances run on electricity, which is part of the vibration of love. A part of it. Your bodies run on electricity as well. They run on a part of the love vibration, so they are love, a part of the whole of love. Everything is love, often split out as a portion, a percentage of it. When you say that you will pass on valuable life information, you call it enlightening another, or enlightening yourself is to receive it. So Merchiniak says, the more you become informed, the more you alter your frequency. You raise your frequency by becoming informed. However the information must be based on the truth. If it is not, it lowers your frequency. Hence the war over your consciousness that is currently occurring on your planet. You see the end result of the manipulation of your consciousnesses. Your people, as a whole, believe in what they are told and as a result they are creating it for themselves not realizing that they are being manipulated into believing lies. Your nature is nothing even similar to the way you are living on your planet at the moment. Humans are beings of love, not war, not violence, not hate, not killing. You know me well enough, my love, to understand that I do not become angry. You become angry because you have learned that it is the way to respond to certain situations on your planet. This was taught to you and genetically you are predisposed. But it is not the way of love to have such a low vibration as anger. As your vibration rises with the ascension, your tendency to become annoyed or angry is abating. Me, yes, thank God. Anger feels like being out of control to me. Ivo, and it is, because the control you feel, what is normal to you is love. So, spreading information. You see so many light workers are busy spreading the message of truth to those on your planet. And you also see the matrix has its minions out spreading lies to try to counteract the truth being told. So one must be good at feeling the information's frequency. Yes, it has a frequency and in the same way you would feel for a pulse of a human being, you must feel the frequency of the information you are experiencing. It can be learned. For you. You still use your intellectual skills but you do not realize that they are secondary to your empathic skills of reading the frequency. And we keep attempting to point this out to you. You marvel at how every time you scrutinize a profile for membership in your group, that whenever you allow someone in who you have taken that second glance at, the first thing they do is break the rules. We are attempting to show you this, my love. You need to listen. You are assessing the frequency of the person. The last person who did this was not an intrinsically bad person of low frequency, but low enough that she would not conform to the group's expectations. And you are sensitive to this. You saw an image you raised an eyebrow at. Me, yeah, what if the image wasn't there? Ivo, you would have questioned something else about the profile. Me, okay. Well, I guess I don't even know I'm doing it. Ivo, and as I say, you must become conscious of the fact that you are and that you always have done it, my love. The person's frequency is giving you information about them. And as you see, Merchiniak states, everything that you are, you broadcast to everyone else. There is no hiding from one with good telepathic skills. They can read others like a book, as you say. Because their light is their information. Their curriculum vitae, their job application, their resume. For you often. My love, you get a sense of the person before they speak, and then when they speak they confirm it. Many of you do it. You do not even realize. Me, I think too, it bears saying that you have to be in a rather neutral mood, because if you're in a bad mood, you won't take to anyone readily. 
Ivo, you can read frequencies. You also give out a frequency, of course. Some people love you, some people hate you. Despite your best efforts to influence as many as possible, there are some who despise you from the start. They are differing in frequency. When you have an instant dislike for somebody, it is not so much about past life as it is a difference in frequency. So you give off a certain frequency, and when you are aligned with the truth, you give off the frequency of light. Your people are speaking of light codes that are given to others, and Rick encourages light workers to get together in the physical in order to pass on codes, to pass on their frequencies to each other. And people flock to him, of course. You love his frequency. Me, I do. Ivo, the light workers must become the embodiment of love and light, the embodiment of the true reality, love, and aligned with the truth, light. To do otherwise is to do oneself a disservice. It is a process and one must move towards the light at their own capability level. To align with the truth, one must first know it. So first many light workers succumb to the system as you call it, the matrix system of mind manipulation. Then they overcame the system and became sovereign and stood in their own power. You did this. I helped you. Me, what's a guide for, eh? Ivo. I want you back. I have my own self-interest in this as well and this is a built-in assurance that our teamwork will be successful. Me, I know. It won't be much longer, I hope. Ivo, no, my love, and I wish to tell those listening to this video that I have channeled the truth to your planet. Sharon has three books currently available with the truth in it. Reading these books will help elevate your frequency, increase your vibration where knowing what is written in these books you will be able to go forward and activate others in turn. Books are the way to go, not even videos, because the entire truth of the matter is written in its completion. Me, I know. Maybe people don't want to read anymore. But that's why we did the books, The Truth Told by Ivo Who Sees All. You're not behind the veil of amnesia and can see everything going on here. You know the history of Earth. You've been around just in this lifetime since the 1600s and have studied this place. Ivo, I channeled the books to spread the light. It is there for those who wish to take it. My love when we channeled what you need to know now, you jumped to a 5D timeline. However you have chosen to stay in the lower 4D timelines to help out there. Me, I know. Those were the days. Well, even now it's not too bad anymore. I just have stringent boundaries. Ivo, yes. You seek out those who you can pass light onto, the ones who want to listen. And it works. They are responding and raising in vibration. You have group members who stick by you all the time because they are raising in vibration being around you, others come and go and this is unfortunate. Me, I don't know. Maybe it's not their time or they'll find someone else they like better. Ivo, or the dark pulls them back in. That is another problem. You see how relentlessly they attack your mind by bringing in people who wish to take your vibration down. Me, yes, I just leave it. I'm not getting into personal problems with people. If they want to fight and argue they'll have to do it elsewhere. I'm not interested in chaos. Ivo, and this is the correct attitude. But you have experienced many attempts in the last few days. Imagine those light workers less aware. Me, that's what I thought from before I woke up, maybe I kept getting pulled back into the matrix because I wasn't aware enough, or didn't hold enough light, to stay out. Ivo, exactly. And that is what is happening with many light workers, they are being pulled back under the ether. Me, that's too bad. Ivo, that is our job, to pull out as many as possible. Me, so we'll keep channeling. But the books are there to do just that and people aren't aware that's what they're there to do. To bring them light. Ivo, well, we will plug the books then. Tell them that the books will help them climb the cliff out of the Matrix, so they will have more control over their minds than the Matrix currently has. Me, yes, and then their energy will stop feeding the wrong system and start feeding the system that frees them and others on this planet. Ivo, the higher the light quotient of the Earthling the more are affected by this energy. Me, thank you Ivo. Ivo, you are most welcome, my love. I miss you and I love you tenderly.
Me. Me too.